Hello and welcome to another video where in this session we'll be taking a look at the flat rate VAT scheme. The VAT flat rate scheme is simply a way of paying VAT whereby a business pays a fixed percentage of its annual turnover. The VAT flat rate scheme is designed to help simplify the VAT return process for a small business. On the standard VAT scheme, a business would charge VAT on its sales and pay VAT on its purchases. The difference between the VAT charged, also known as output tax, and the VAT to claim back on purchases and expenses, also known as input tax, would then be paid or reclaimed from HMRC. Under the flat rate scheme, no input tax is claimed on purchases other than certain capital items, which we'll come on to later. Instead, the business would pay a percentage of its total revenue as VAT across to HMRC. This percentage will vary depending on the business's trade, but will always be lower than the standard rate of 20%. The scheme is targeted at smaller businesses, and for those who tend to have a lower amount of purchases, and therefore a lower amount of input tax to offset against their output tax. It also simplifies the process because rather than having to know the rules and regulations on what VAT can and can't be claimed back, it becomes irrelevant as you're not claiming any input tax back. Equally, HMRC wouldn't require you to keep any documentation on input tax. To be able to qualify for the flat rate scheme, the business must have taxable turnover excluding VAT of 150,000 or less. The business would have to leave the scheme if on the anniversary of joining, your turnover in the last 12 months was more than 230,000, including VAT, or you expect to be in the next 12 months. For example, if you join the flat rate scheme on the 1st of January, at the 1st of January each year, the business would have to assess whether its income for the previous 12 months had gone over 230,000, including VAT. If it had, then they would need to leave the scheme. Equally, if the business knew that its income would go over 230,000, again, including VAT, over the next 12 months, then they'd also have to leave the scheme. I mentioned earlier that the percentage of VAT charged on the business's total turnover change depending on the business's trade. I've included on screen now the various trade categories that HMRC have outlined, along with the relevant percentage that must be paid. Within the flat rate scheme, there is also another classification that HMRC have, which is a limited cost business. A business is classed as a limited cost business if its purchases cost less than either 2% of its turnover or £1,000 a year. If a business is classified as a limited cost business, then they would pay VAT at 16.5% of the total turnover, irrelevant of what type of business it is. Let's have a look at an example to put all this together. Hawkins Limited was registered for the flat rate scheme. The percentage for their specific trade is 12%, and you've been asked to prepare their VAT return for the quarter you've been provided with the following information. Standard rate of sales, including VAT, were 18,200. Zero rated sales were 4,150, and exempt sales were 6,900. Standard rate purchases, including VAT, were 3,100. To calculate the VAT payable, we can firstly ignore the standard rate purchases, as the business wouldn't be able to claim these back. We then add together all sales amounts, including exempt sales. Once added together, the sales for the quarter come to 29,250. We then multiply this total sales figure by the designated VAT percentage of 12%. 29,250 times 12% is 3,510. The business's VAT to be paid for the quarter then would be 3,510. One disadvantage of the flat rate scheme is that it is possible if the business did happen to have higher purchases in one particular quarter or year that they'd end up paying more VAT than they would on the standard rate scheme. This is something that would need to be monitored and if it was continually happening, it may be worth considering swapping to the standard scheme. The one last point I'd like to make is on capital items. Although a business wouldn't be able to claim its input tax back on regular purchases and expenses, 
they are allowed to claim back the VAT on capital expenditure. To qualify, the capital item must be over £2,000, including VAT, and must be a single purchase outside the scope of the business's regular activities. And that wraps up this video on the flat rate scheme. I hope you found it useful and remember if you have, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.